In a shocking attack on public safety, an extremist judge in Edmonton has removed essential public security protections from Omar Khadr's bail conditions. According to Justice June Ross, Khadr, a convicted murderer and an unrepentant member of Al-Qaeda, should now be able to fly on Canadian passenger planes and can visit his family in Toronto. He no longer has to speak with them in English so that police can monitor his conversations. He no longer has to wear a tracking bracelet on his ankle. The police surveillance software on his computer must be removed. This isn't just some run-of-the-mill, soft-on-crime liberal justice. This is an outright pro-terrorist ruling. It truly puts Canadian lives at risk. It would be no different than putting Paul Bernardo back on the street. This extremist ruling must be appealed by the government. Omar Khadr is a terrorist. His father, Ahmed Khadr, was a terrorist too, a personal friend of Osama bin Laden. Ahmed Khadr was killed in a gun battle with Pakistani anti-terrorism police. Omar Khadr's mother and sister publicly brag about being Al-Qaeda supporters too. Here, listen to these disgusting women. We plead that death come when God has planted before he created the humanity. His mother Maha on the left and sister Zainab deny that the family was ever officially part of Al-Qaeda, but readily admit they are sympathetic to the bin Laden organization. Why, is it, why does nobody say you killed three of his friends? Why does everybody say he killed an American soldier? Big deal. And of course, Omar Khadr himself murdered Christopher Spear, a U.S. Army medic, leaving his wife Tabitha Spear a widow and their children Taryn and Tanner fatherless. Cotter later bragged to guards at Guantanamo Bay that murdering Spear was the greatest moment of his life. Cotter confessed in great detail to his terrorist activities and the murder. In addition, captured Al-Qaeda propaganda videos show Cotter gleefully assembling roadside bombs of the sort that killed many Canadian soldiers in Afghanistan. This is outrageous. Ordinary criminals have police tracking bracelets on their ankles, but this judge took them off Omar Khadr because he complained, get this, that they interfered with his ability to play soccer. Seriously, and the judge thought that Omar Khadr playing soccer was more important than the public safety interest of having a police tracking bracelet on his ankle. Police had surveillance programs on his computer too. Not anymore. Judge Ross said they were unusually restrictive. Really? In what world is it unusual to want to watch a terrorist convicted of war crimes. And a week before, a week after the anniversary of 9-11, ruling that Qatar can now fly on jet planes, an Al-Qaeda terrorist. Would you want to be on a plane sitting next to Omar Qatar? What's next? A judge ordering WestJet or Air Canada to let him board their planes? Naturally, the, West, the rest of the media love this. Like Judge Ross, they're treating Omar Qatar like a celebrity, like a folk hero. He's an unrepentant murderer who now continues his work for Al-Qaeda as a propaganda tool. And our courts and media are only too happy to play along. So what can we do? I can think of three things. Number one, spread the word about how outrageous this court case is. Most media will be cheering for this. We've got to tell people the truth. Forward this video to your friends. Post it on Facebook. And we've set up a special emergency website, Jail. Cotter.com. You can click here to go right to it or type in jail, K H A D R.com. On that website, sign our petition to demand that the government appeal this extremist decision. It's not even about right and wrong anymore, it's about basic protection of Canadian lives. Seriously, what judge would tell police they're not allowed to track a terrorist, aren't allowed to monitor what he does online, aren't allowed to stop him from flying on jets? Sign our petition to the government to appeal this ruling. Click right here. And the third thing is to help us crowdfund an opinion poll. I want a professional, independent pollster to demonstrate what real Canadians think about letting Cotter fly on jets without an ankle bracelet, without police surveillance. I think it's insane. I think it's dangerous. I want a scientific poll to tell politicians that they have to protect us. I estimate that poll will cost $1,500. Please click here to contribute if you can. Look, I've seen a lot of nutty court cases in my time, but I truly have never seen anything so slap in the face outrageous as this one. We've got to get this murderer back in jail. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.